Hello, my name is Eric from Laser Skin Europe, and today we'd like to speak about accessories which is uh, fits to our reference spheres. For starting, you, ha you have to know how the sphere is working. On the bottom side, we have a magnetic plate, and this plate we can unscrew from the sphere. And if you look then inside of the sphere, we have here an adapter. Uh, this is an European M8, and then on the other side, we have the screw on the magnetic plate. And this allows us also to place the spheres on other options like prism poles or we have poles which are based on tribach and you can use this on your tripod. We have uh, um, different kinds of uh, mini prism we call them. This is a standard prism for total station but a smaller one. And uh, if you see, if we place it here on the side, we're sitting here in the center axis and if we replaced the sphere by the mini point, what we have here, you can measure the center points. And to come in this direction, we use in this case a marker point, which is a sticker, what you can place on different types of surfaces. And sometimes you not can stay direct with your total station, maybe you stay from this side. And there we have the option to move the person in the direction where you stay with your total station or is total flexible in 360 degrees. If you have a larger sphere like our XXL spheres who have a diameter of 200 millimeters, then we have also a larger one what can fit the center point of the large sphere. What we see there in the back, that's the same idea. But you can also, if you see it, you can also place this on maybe like a coin or you use the same if you want to measure it on tri bars or prism ports. An important information what you have to know is that we having here a prism constant, which is, uh, you can find it here, is 34.4 millimeters, what is the Leica uh, prism uh, constant. Uh, this works uh, fine with your Leica total station. If you have another brand like Trimble or Sokia uh, Topcon, then you have to change it and then you can use it with your total station and you are on the same system. And you see there, we have different options to marker the points where we've been before. The idea of that is not only if you want to place your spheres by later the prison point here, also if you like to measure, take the sphere back and come later back to the same position, you can use the same marker points. And we bring the marker points on, on uh, this device where you have uh, 100 pieces in one and then you have enough for your project. If you go on other areas where you don't can use the stickers, uh, maybe you are outside, then we have also here small pieces where you can place your sphere on the normal surfaces like, you know, a street or somewhere in the nature. If you are in maybe old buildings and you like to use also the reference point, we have this metal reference plate, what we have here. And this you can fix in, in your wood construction inside. You just come like this and you take your screwdriver and screw it and then it is fine. We have some customers, they won't be very precise and then we have these very precise um, adapter, what you can use by screw, or you can glue it on a surface. And if we place here inside, we have no option that magnetic plate can move in this um, adapter point. It's maybe a little bit similar to what you use with a laser tracker. And you see we have different options, easy ones, if you scan large, we have uh, four ground points and we have four wood. I guess we have a lot of options how you can place your spheres uh, best in your scanning object. And on the end, we have another option too. As you know, we have the M8. We are total flexible, okay, we can screw it here. But maybe you have only windows or your outside facade is only glass points. Then you can use this one. And this works on the vacuum system and you can screw it. And this is very fixed too. Yeah, as you see, many options to place your reference spheres best in your scanning scene.